Alright. We're back on the Intake Manifold. It's been a uh, interesting 10 minutes. Uh, so far the pressure washer hose, the pressure side of it, on, or the wand side, has decided to pierce a hole and uh, spray everything in here. Luckily, this is my welder and that one's got to over there because I'd feel quite bad if I gave his welder a bath versus mine. It's my own damn mistake. Uh, yeah, so everything got wet. The original idea was to give this a quick pressure wash uh, and really get into all these spots over here. Just if there's any little bits of particulate kind of kicking around. Because, I mean, it's going in a car. It's, it's going in a... Uh, pretty aggressive environment as all these are pulling separate vacuum at separate times the whole thing's shaking there's heat cycling so if any little bit of particulates in there it could get in granted it's probably going to make its way out as well but it's clean it it adds up over time so you know if there's a big chunk and it gets between a valve and a valve seat game over but yeah we've got our aluminum uh went and bought some it's at 20 bucks for two pieces uh, it's just under a 16 gauge, so we'll have a fresh piece on the top. We're going to cut her out, drill a few holes probably, uh, so it lines up with a center piece, or we might just slot it and then weld it up. With it being too thin or so thin, I'm worried if I try to do a full weld down the center in all corners, it's going to noodle and less welds the better on something like this. I think so. I mean, I haven't, obviously nothing's tested, so who knows, but yeah. Oh, come along for the ride. Alrighty, we've got the top tacked on. Uh, we're definitely going to take this slow so it doesn't get too warpy. I mean, we've already hit this with a hammer to kind of get that a nice little <laughs> little groove in there. And I mean, to meet some of the corners we have, it's it's not going to be perfect. Never planned, never planned to be, and never will be. Uh, yeah, so yeah, come along with me as we weld it up in the cold because you can see my breath. I don't know if that came up on camera, but yeah, it's cold and drafty. I, I should fix that, but uh, I haven't. It's like I should also go buy diesel for that, but again, I haven't. So yeah, come along with me as I weld this up. <laughs> spicy what I need to do is aim it under the uh, the, the that spot there wow it's getting hot mmm cause it's getting loose mm. Ha <laughs> ha 
right, so we've got her welded up. Um, again, keep the video in 240p. Looks a lot better. Um, you can kind of see where we had some distortion issues. And I mean, me tapping with a hammer and going around wasn't the best idea. But I mean, with the ground clamp fucking up, the pressure washer, I mean, eh. Wasn't the, uh, the cleanest of installs. And I should have went a little thicker on the top plate. But when I grabbed this stuff, I was like, oh, yeah, it feels like 116. And, uh, no, it's it's a little bit under that. Or maybe I should have stepped up to 1 8. But, uh, nevertheless, uh, it's all welded together. I mean, it's seemingly working. We blew some air in through this guy here, and it, uh, blows out a lot more from the back, which is understandable because it's going to go through and uh, push out that way. I mean, if it was coming out of here, one of the other ones, be a little bit more uh, surprising. But uh, the divider plate seems to be working because I don't feel anything come out of this side when I blow air through and on that side either. So it is working in a sense that it's keeping the uh, uh, banks separated, which, yeah, on this V10 with the firing order and how it's set up, um, yeah. We have uh, left and then right. We don't have any like small block gobbledygook of that two, that two, then that one, then another one here. Kind of like Harley Davidson stuff. But uh, yeah, so we're there. We're just kind of messing around with fuel rails. I mean, we had an idea that this was going to be too tall, but I've looked up online and there is uh, some OEM GM LS fucking whatever. Uh, injectors that are really short so I'll have to measure these guys up and see what the other ones are like and uh, and we may go with something like that I mean these aren't even pushed in all the way and uh, we can also cut down this a little bit more and not have it cycle back or make a whole new rail but this tube is pretty nice because it's very very small and I would like to keep the OEM uh, fuel pressure regulator because then I don't have to uh, dick with anything it's just bing bang boom vacuum line return good to go but uh we'll see how that goes maybe it's something we can keep maybe it's something we can't but uh we'll carry on probably another day i might get this bolted back to the car just so if it is gonna kind of tweak as it cools although it's pretty cold now as uh it's probably around like three three degrees in here so yeah, I doubt it's going to move anymore, and I think it's already cooled down by now. But, uh, yeah, any uh, any concerns or comments, I mean, or suggestions, put them down below. We're still not out of time to redo this. Um, I might get new throttle bodies, as I don't really like these ones. Um, this one's really stiff to return, and I don't want to deal with that in a year. Um, and this one's got a lot of corrosion on it, and was pretty kind of got a weird spot on it and probably you know welding when it was still bolted on may not have been a good idea but uh laziness wins <laughs> so and i wanted to keep these bolted so the plate didn't warp at all so that's why we did that but um yeah it's gonna go in there uh still got to redo this guy here for our um uh heater core line so it's got to get some sort of line from there to there I, th I think it's the the bigger one there and i think that's the return so that'll go to where my coolant overflow tank is uh yeah Ooh, i think that's about it and then we can get our linkage done so we can modify our crossover link so that that attaches to that and then since this is on the back we're probably going to go with that one to here or our throttle linkage to that one and we have ours here so we need to make something to hold that roughly around there um, we'll have to measure it up to make sure that our strokes are the same in that the throttle body needs the same amount of pull as the pedal does for full stroke on the itbs um because it was a bike one i guess it was only about here it was close to wide open you know versus it's about you know there for your full travel and itbs are touchy so it really made this uh throttle linkage that was really uh or throttle pedal that was really uh touchy so gonna try to avoid that but uh 
whatever happens, happens, and we'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, I might look into seeing how this is in the block. I'm not too sure. I mean, if there's any Ford guys here, uh, let me know. I don't know if this is just a pressed-in piece into the cast block, or if there is a threaded port, or how it is. We could try getting away with threading it the inside there to an MPT, and then run a barb or an AN to a uh, push lock fitting or something. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna wipe some of the water off here, but uh, I'm rambling on, and maybe you're still watching, maybe you're not, but yeah. See you next time, smell you later.